back to Paradise TV from the Seminole Casino Hotel Immokalee. This is a great destination for entertainment here in Southwest Florida. Another great place for entertainment is the city of Tampa. That is where you will find the Tampa Theater. It is rich in history, texture, and no doubt an iconic part of the city. When most of us head to the movies these days, we all want to be transported to another time, another story. Here at historic Tampa Theater, the show and movie experience starts long before the opening credits. This is a part of Florida's history and of our country's history that you really can't see anyplace else. There are so few of these theaters left that if you and your family have the opportunity to come experience a great film in a historic movie palace, it's an experience you really can't miss. Yes, this is called a movie palace built in the 1920s by architect John Everson. He called it an atmospheric theater. And what he wanted to do was transport his audiences to a different place in time when they walked in. We are one of the, the few that is left in the country that is still showing movies. A lot of them have been turned into event spaces or, or performing arts halls. But for us, we program 600 showtimes a year. And that makes us not only one of the best preserved movie palaces in the country, but one of the most utilized. Something else still utilized? The sounds of what helped bring the silent movies to life. One of the coolest things about Tampa Theater is you can still hear the original organ that was played here back in 1926. Now, 88 years later, we still have a core of volunteer organists that before every film come in and do about 15 or 20 minutes of pre-show music that you can sit and enjoy. So it's very easy to walk in here and, and put yourself back in 1926 and forget that it's 2015 outside. Proving a paradise in the 20s is still relevant today. When Eberson designed Tampa Theater, he was looking to transport his guests and his, his theme for us was a Mediterranean courtyard. He wanted people to walk in and experience a night sky and, and the vines and the birds sitting in the architecture. So I, I like to think that this was his idea of paradise. This was the most beautiful place he could think of that he invented it that the people of Tampa could enjoy it. 